How are you doing, Princess? I miss my goldfish, Father. I know, Flora. It's very, very hard to say goodbye to something you love. Did you have a goldfish when you were a little king, Father? Well, not exactly a goldfish, but I did have a pet I cared for very much. He was the cutest little warthog you ever saw. A warthog? Uh-huh, a warthog named Reginald. I met him on a particular day. As I remember, it was the day I was faced with one of the hardest decisions I ever had to make as a young king. It all began when Retaxis blocked our roads and held onto something that rightfully belonged to the citizens of Celesteville. It was one of the worst things he had ever done. It's the blockade! Blockade? Yes. <clears throat> Thanks to Retaxis' roadblocks, this is the last pomegranate in the entire kingdom. Oops! My tusks! But what's so important about pomegranates? Of course, as king, you are fully aware that, unlike myself, who absolutely abhor the fruit, pomegranates play an important part in the livelihood of your subjects. No pomegranates means no pomegranate squashers and juice makers industry. No pomegranate tosses sports drunk. And a loss of a daily source of vitamin C and riboflavin. We must make a bargain with Retaxis. No, no deals. But, sire, we have no other choice. The people are crying out for their pomegranates. We want our pomegranates! We want our pomegranates! I rest my case. But they're our pomegranates. Why should we reward someone who's stealing from us? But, Your Majesty... No deals. <gasps> Excuse my ignorance, Your Highness, but what's so important about pomegranates? Nothing, Basil. It's the blockade that's important. Ah. Soon I'll cut the elephants off from everything they need, and Babar will have to come crawling to me. Retaxis! Time to whack Reginald! <laughs> Why can't Basil walk in? Because I want you to become best oh, friends. That was my last uniform. Reggie's just a little rambunctious at times, but then, <laughs> so am I. <laughs> now remember, Try to be friends. Basil! Coming, your Rhinus! Please reconsider, Baba. A deal with Retaxis would end this whole affair once and for all. But that's just it, Cornelius. If we give in to him today, it'll never stop. Tomorrow, he'll withhold something else. It's not right and it's not fair. If I may be so bold, sire, this has little to do with fairness or what's right. It's politics. Maybe I've got something to learn about politics, but I think the people have something to learn about standing up to bullies. But what other option do we have, Baba? I don't know, but it's my responsibility to think of one. But, but Your, Your Majesty... Majesty... Walk the warthog. Walk the warthog. Well, a militant dictator like me has better things to do. I've got a blockade to run. Ouch! <laughs> but you didn't signal your stop, your rights. Uh, that was the last charm. Take Reginald for a walk, Basil. A long walk on a short path. Surely you don't mean leave the poor little thing in the jungle, do you? Sorry to leave you like this, Reginald, but orders are orders. Fetch, boy! Fetch! <laughs> what to do? What I think I should do? Or what the people want me to do? <laughs> hey, where'd you come from? <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Say, I bet you're lost. You don't have a home, do you, boy? <laughs> All right, I'll take you home with me. 
But you have to help me with my problems. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till Retaxis hears about this. The pomegranate panic is reaching new heights. Baba, I strongly urge we begin negotiations with Retaxis at once. I've already completed the essential paperwork, sire. Hello, boy. <laughs> Here, boy. Hey, stop! <laughs> I found him. Isn't he great? I'm gonna keep him. But perhaps this is not the appropriate time for a pet, Baba. <laughs> you are rather busy with... We want our pomegranates! We want our pomegranates! Exactly, the blockade. All we need is your seal of approval. Sorry, Cornelius. It's just that if we give him to our taxes just a little, I know we'll have to give in a lot. But, but your majesty. majesty... Don't worry. Everything will be fine. We'll figure something out, won't we, Lord? <laughs> you lost Reginald? How could you? I'm sorry, my dear, but the poor little pest... Uh, pet didn't need any help. I mean, he broke his leash and... <gasps> ran off. I want my Reggie! <laughs> Perhaps another pet, something without teeth. I, I mean, something you can love as much as Reginald. There, there is nothing I love as much as Reggie, except the husband I married years ago. The husband who would never have come back until he had turned over every leaf in the jungle to find our baby. <laughs> oh, good news, Your Highness. Reginald is out of your life for life. If you're still the man I married, bring back my Reggie. Ah, <laughs> uh, make that bad news. Reginald is in Celesteville. Oh, the things I have to do for that woman. How am I going to get him back? Easy, sir. Why not just make a deal with the elephants? Trade their pomegranates for the warthog. Never! Why should I make deals when I can have it all? I'll keep the pomegranates and we'll steal the warthog. Spending time with my new little friend made me very happy indeed. Come on, boy, get the stick! Little did I know that Retaxes and Basil were plotting to separate us. and get out of here. Absolutely, Your Highness. After you. <laughs> so what do you think, fella? Should I tell Retaxis to go soak his horn or give in to the bully? <laughs> okay, okay. You think about it, and I'll get something for you to eat. to take you back to mommy. <laughs> Reginald? <laughs> hey, boy. Stop. Uh-oh. Come back. Advise me. Call the guards! I thought you'd be too busy with your blockade for a social call, Retaxis. Blockade? What blockade? We want our pomegranates. We want our pomegranates. Oh, 
<laughs> that blockade. Call the guards. Call the guards. Yeah, but you see, uh, uh, that's why Lord Retaxis has come here. It, it is? is? It is? Yes, he wants to talk about a trade to end the pomegranate blockade. Call off the guards. Call off the guards. No deals. Call the guards. Call the guards. Uh, perhaps we shouldn't be too hasty, sire. Yes, at least let us hear his terms. Okay, I'll listen, but that's all. Fall off the guards! Fall off the guards! Uh, yeah. Now, about the trade. Well, Basil? Uh, Lord Retaxis will trade your pomegranates for, uh, for, uh, uh... For what, Basil? What do I want to trade them for? Feathers! 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 Feathers? Feathers? One thousand pounds of feathers! Feathers? Is that all? No gold? No territory? No natural resources? No, you're happy with feathers, aren't you, sir? Uh, why, yes, sir. Of course I'm happy with feathers. Baba, that's an offer even you can't refuse. Think of the people of Celesteville happy again. It must be a trick. And so we lose a thousand pounds of feathers, sire. No great loss. But I said no deals. It's hardly a deal, Baba. He's practically giving our pomegranates back to us. It'll take a while to collect them. We'll wait. Thank you, Baba. Wise decision, sire. We want our pomegranates! We want our pomegranates! We want our... Basil! Feathers? What do I want with feathers? Oh, you don't want feathers, Your Highness. Then what do I want, Basil? You want to stall the elephant so you can get what you really want. Lady Retax's pet, Reginald. Ha! I knew that's what I thought I wanted. Let's get to work. I know it's only feathers, but we're still making deals with Retaxis instead of standing up to him. I... You're about the only one that agrees with me. Well, fella, ready for your bath? <laughs> hey! <laughs> Here, boy. Oh, Reggie! Come to Mommy's, please. Mommy's been so sad since you ran away. You weren't satisfied with just a dress. No, I had to wear high heels. But it's all the rage, sir. I'll give you rage. Look, I brought you some nice beastie bites. Yum, yum. Good little baby, you miserable little white hog. You're not getting away on me again? What? Oh. Ah. Rose bushes at 12 o'clock! Ah. Oh. Oh. Hey. Watch out for that! Oh. 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 Ah. Eight! Your Highness. News of Retax's unreasonable demand spread quickly through the Great Forest. And in an effort to help, our feathered friends responded above and beyond the call of duty. Well, that's it. One thousand pounds exactly. <laughs> the things a civil servant has to endure these days. Bella? Baba, whatever are you doing? Why, trying to get the fleas off? My taxes? We do have indoor bathing facilities, if you prefer. <laughs> I, I'm terribly sorry about this incident, Lord Retaxis, but I do hope you noticed we had your feathers ready. Not so fast. But you said feathers for pomegranates. We had a deal. Uh, uh, but, but I distinctly remember Lord Retaxis asked for, uh, fuchsia feathers. 
Fuchsia feathers? Yes, you know, sort of a bright purplish red. Forget it. That wasn't part of the deal, and you know it. Well, if you don't want your pomegranates... As far as I'm concerned, you can take our pomegranate sandals. And trade them to us for fuchsia feathers. But Cornelius, he's changing Give the... Baba a private word with you, you please. We want our pomegranates! We want our pomegranates! If it's any comfort, Baba, I feel the same about dealing with retexes as you do. You do? Yes, but we must all put aside our personal feelings and think about what's best for the people. That's what I've been trying to do, Cornelius. I know, but I fear your pet has been interfering with your duty as king. But he's the only one who'll listen. Perhaps, until this is over, it would be best if we found a new home. No! Do whatever you think best. <laughs> Just let us stay together. Of course, Baba. As soon as we get that warthog back, I'm going to blockade everything. Here, boy. He's never around when you want him. Ouch! Eh, uh, I think I found him, Uranus. Hey! Let go of my warthog! Quick, Basil. Follow me. Hey, wait! Come back! Well, that's it. One thousand pounds of fuchsia feathers. Stop them! Call the guards! Run! Hurry, Basil! Stop them! <laughs> Baba, whatever is going on? Retax has tried to steal my warthog. No. Okay, that's it. You want your pomegranates? Give me that warthog. But what about your feathers? <coughs> Keep your feathers. I want the warthog. What? You mean you'll lift the blockade in exchange for that creature? Uh, allow me to translate. That means... Yes. Never! Perhaps you may want to rephrase that, sire. As it stands, it suggests you are only thinking of your warthog, not the people. It's not warthogs, it's not fuchsia, and it's not feathers. It's bullies. Give a bully something once and you'll never stop giving. <laughs> not one fuchsia feather, Retaxis. <gasps> and that's final. Oh, yeah? Well, with or without the warthog, I was going to keep your pomegranates all along. Now I'm going to blockade everything. We're doomed. Retaxis! What are you doing raving around here in that chicken suit? You should be out tearing down the jungle trying to find my poor lost... <gasps> Reggie! <coughs> my little sweetie! Reggie? <coughs> He's your warthog? Oh, yes. Come home to Mama, Reginald. But... but... <laughs> You've been a real pal, Reggie. Because of you, I finally did the right thing. I, I'm gonna miss you. I can understand how difficult this must be for you. What can I ever do to repay you for saving my Reggie? <laughs> well... You could ask for taxes to give back our pomegranates. Is that all? Never! Done! <coughs> and no more blockades! But, 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 but <coughs> my dear! <coughs> <coughs> Thank you once again. <coughs> now remember, be friends! You were right for not wanting to give in to retaxes, Baba. Thanks to you, Celesteville has her pomegranates. But more important than that, we have our pride. I'm truly sorry that it has cost you, my friend. Papa? I'm here, Flora. I still miss that warthog. It is very hard to say goodbye to something you love. <laughs> but I saw how you laughed when you talked about Reginald biting Retax's pants. <laughs> That's because we had a lot of fun. You know, instead of spending time missing old friends, one can spend the time remembering how good it was to know them. I 
love you, Papa. I love you too, Flora. <laughs>